Firstly we will talk about central problem of all economies. Production, distribution, and exchange of goods and services are among the basic economic activities of life. During the period of these economic activities, every society has to suffer from scarcity of resources, and it is the scarcity of resources that arises the problem of choice. The scarce resource of an economy has several usages. In other words, every society decides how to use scarce resources optimally. The problems of an economy are often summarized in the following three ways. What to produce and in what quantity. How to produce. And for whom to produce. This helps to understand which good or services are required in the society with which technique these are to be made and who would consume these goods. Let's think about the first question of, what to produce. There are different needs of every human in the society, considering that it is decided which goods and services are to be produced and in what quantity are they required in the society. As the resources are scarce, the production of one means sacrificing another. Production has to be done in a way that maximum satisfaction is achieved by society by looking into what is more important than another. For example, the construction of a hospital can be done by giving up a highway. A public park or a school can be built on the same land, one has to decide what needs to be built by studying which is a more important need of the area. There are different types of needs in society. Goods are of different categories from consumer goods, capital goods to civil goods or war goods. Keeping in mind the requirement of each their quantity is decided. The key points are. A country cannot produce all goods because it has limited resources. It has to make a choice between different goods and services. And every economy has to decide what goods and services should be produced. Our second question is, how to produce? This refers to different aspects of production from selecting which raw materials to be used, what technique of production has to be adopted, and where these goods would be produced. How means deciding the manner in which the goods are produced largely deals with deciding what amount of labor would be involved. There is a capital-intensive technique where more machinery is used and then there is labor-intensive technique where more manpower is used. Goods can be produced in-house or made in a foreign land. In-house production means employment generation whereas foreign land production means goods produced at a lesser price. All these aspects need to be seen keeping in mind their effect on society. For example, the production of textiles can be done either by hand loom, or machine based. The method which gives more output with lesser cost getting involved is chosen. In a country like India where there is an abundance of labor hand loom can be chosen, whereas in countries like the USA where the labor cost is high, machine based production is preferred. The key points are. As an economy decides to produce certain goods, it faces the problem to decide how these goods will be produced. The problem arises because of unavailability of some resources. It also involves the choice of technique of production. A country may produce by labor-intensive methods or by capital-intensive methods of production, depending upon its stock or manpower. The third and last question is, for whom to produce? This involves deciding who is the end consumer of the goods or services that are produced. Every good produced is made for a specific section of society as every product cannot satisfy all the sections of society due to difference in the paying capacity of the consumer. Inequality in the distribution of income can be noticed in society because of which there is a difference in the paying capacity of the consumer. For example, the production of graded rice is for people with higher paying capacity and the production of non-graded rice is for lower income people. Luxury goods and services are for people with high income. The distribution of final goods and services is equal to the distribution of income among the factors of production land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship. This has two aspects. Personal distribution, this refers to the distribution of income by a different group of individuals in society. Functional distribution, this refers to the distribution of income among different factors of production. The key points are. Goods and services are produced for people who have the means to pay for them. A country may produce mass consumption goods at a large scale or goods for upper classes. All it depends upon the policies of the government as well as private producing units.